So why financial freedom is not the focus? Because that became my focus, and I'm kind of like curious. Every, nobody else that I was talking to was thinking, oh yeah, just like, yeah, I'm also about financial freedom. Nobody's really talking about that. Nobody's thinking about that, right? Full-time employment is under assault. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, we laugh, we laugh, but you know, <laughs> things are not that good. <laughs> just a nervous <laughs> laugh, exactly. So full-time employment under assault. I mean, we're seeing more and more gig economy, right? We're moving into a gig economy. You know, like every, all the job, more and more people, and by gig economy, I mean like contract workers. Big, large companies are pushing more and more legislation to have more, the ability to have more and more people under contract. What does that mean? That means they don't have to pay benefits because poor companies, we don't want them to uh, spend too much money, right? <laughs> it's just not like <laughs> and also employee on demand. Well, how, how great is that? You hire someone and say, you know, Bob, I don't, I need you only like 20 hours next next week. It's all, okay, you know. When you're a full-time employee, so if you don't have anything, it's my responsibility as an employer to find work for you. If you don't have work, well, I'm paying you still. But so that's just the whole thing about this gig economy, and we're putting more and more workers in in that category, and they're they're forcing legislation to do that. Uh, work from home. Work from home sounds great, and I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of extrapolating what I'm seeing right now and what I, I, I hope it's not going to happen. But uh, working from home is great right now. People are you know they can they can if they live in the in California they can go and maybe move somewhere a little cheaper, save on taxes, find a, a small town they can raise their kids and all of that, pay uh, less in rent or in houses uh, and all of that better quality of life, all that, that's all good stuff. But when you're working in San Francisco, let's say you're working in San Francisco, you have your job and all your coworkers are there and uh, your manager is there, you're competing with people in San Francisco for your job, right? So maybe an hour around San Francisco, These are, that's your competition, right? When you're moving out and you're moving to Texas, and then your other coworkers are moving to Indiana and Florida and all that. Your manager, there's not much difference anymore about talking to, to Mary in, uh, in Indiana or Bob in Texas or whatever. I'm working with people that are remote as a manager. So what you're competing, who you're competing with, you're competing with anybody in the United States. And I would argue around the world. That means, what do you think is going to happen to wages? Yeah. And we're already seeing that. Yeah, that's right. The end result, right? We're already seeing that the, the gig workers are making less money, and the, also the hourly rates is also going not as fast as inflation, 2.7% compared to 3.5% for inflation. All right? Average number of hours per week, 25, 25 hours, which is just below that 30-hour limit that qualifies you for benefit and full employment benefit, right? So that's why they're keeping all these hours below, below that. And finally, the end result of all this uh, is an impact. The impact on you is going to be impact on credit, impact on your saving, and of course, impact on retirement, all right? And I'm not even talking about the recession or the inflation. Financial freedom means financial security. That's why you need to focus on that. But well, nobody's laughing now? Come on. <laughs> <laughs>